Almost a decade in the planning, the New South Wales government has committed $39 million to building a new railway station at Flinders. The project will provide better train access for residents in Shell Harbour, Shell Cove and Flinders. It's part of a $100 million rail spending blitz by the Coalition over four years. There was a warm reception for the Transport Minister bringing a major boost to public transport in Shell Harbour. This is a much needed facility for the community and the community can be assured that we're a government that will deliver this. The new station will be built south of the Lindsay's Lane overpass. Two platforms will be connected by a footbridge with elevator access and commuter car parking. As somebody who uses public transport frequently, I'm really pleased that younger people, older Australians or people wanting access to public transport will be able to get it. And especially with a lot of young families and retirees, we certainly need access to good transport and we're certainly going to have it now with this new announcement. Planning for a train station at Flinders dates back almost a decade. The former Labor government budgeted for the project and in 2010 began foundation works, yet the station was never realised. Today's announcement is part of a $100 million rail spending blitz by the Coalition over four years. It also includes upgrades at Albion Park, Dapto, Jeringong and Wollongong train stations. And that's a recognition that this is a growing area, an area which relies heavily on public transport and that reliance will increase and we want to make sure we're providing that infrastructure to keep up with development. Final plans for Flinders Station will be released mid this year. The project is due for completion at the end of 2014. Once it's fully operational, Dunmore Station will close. Michaela Gray, Wynn News.